Hey everybody, it's close to November and the leaves are falling all over the place here in Long Island. I just uh, used my riding mower and sucked it all up. No raking leaves for me, that's right. Gotta get a riding mower with a bagger system. Anyway, today I'm gonna um, show you how to extract a rat's nest. How do you know you have a rat's nest? Well, this is a power washer that I got for free. It's uh, old, but guess what? It runs. It runs great. I'll show you real quick. Choke and just pull. <laughs> oh, duh. One start. It's great. Um, need to find out if the uh, pump works, but I'll have to do that next year because it's no point on doing it now. It's almost winter. Anyway, so when I first got this, I noticed that there was a uh, there was a lot of nuts over here, you know, nutshells and stuff, you know, the kind that squirrels have or eat. And then there's a lot of grass. Well, this is not a lawnmower. This is a power washer. So therefore there shouldn't be any reason for any grass. So when you see a lot of grass or hay or uh, moss, anything that's built up right around the fins here, well, that's a telltale, telltale sign that you have a rat's nest underneath the engine cowling. And the reason why you need to extract that and get rid of it is because there are fins on the cylinder heads over here. The fins are there to des are designed to um, emit the um, heat that's built up from the engine uh, while it's running. And so the fins help the air go through it and uh, help cool down the engine. If you have blockages in those fins, it'll cause the engine to prematurely overheat, overheat relatively quickly. And uh, when you have overheating of your engine, well, you could blow your engine that way too, if you use it too much. So what I'm gonna do real quick is show you just uh, how easy it is to get rid of a rat's nest in there and fix that problem. So uh, you need a air compressor. That's probably the best way to do it. <laughs> or you could blow all day and uh, wear yourself out and pass out. But, uh, you know, an air compressor is cheap. You know, it's, you can get one from Harbor Freight Tools or Sears. Of course, you can't go to Sears anymore. Uh, but, you know, they have them for like 99 bucks. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 150 something like that. Anyway, so I'm going to take the engine cowling off. And uh, usually these Briggs has bolts here, but... It looks like these are just tabs and it has little areas here we can just take a flathead screwdriver See, that's one that's two and then this cover just comes off you know the oh these, these bolts are really rusty here I know I'm probably gonna have problems with it but one two three to take the gas tank off remember to take the uh, gas cap off to get the gas tank off just uh, pry it open let it hang and then there's a uh, one two three four just to get the cowling off I like to use the impact one quarter impact takes it off lickety split and I take that back I don't have to take the gas cap off it just comes off just like that so now you have access to that bolt there and that bolt there. And these two bolts here. And the cowling should come off. I say again, should. So with those four 3 8 bolts, the cowling is technically loose from the engine. There's also a uh, 5 16 bolt that holds the uh, dipstick clean this you dipstick the dipstick reservoir off just pull up on it a little bit rotate it and stick it back in there so it's out of the way so technically this should be loose let's see it is but it looks like something else is grabbing on here oh man don't tell me I gotta take this off 
Looks like I have to. Two 516s there also. And it wasn't connected at all, but it did catch a little. Then you have to take a 516 over here that holds the uh, muffler guard. And that should be it. Feels loose. it is and there it is you know this is fresh because um, while the guy who gave this to me for free told me that um, this was in his garage for 10 years I'm not buying it at all because look how rusted that cowling is he obviously left this crap outside and as you can see the grass in there it's fresh grass so this is very recent you know but uh, as you can see, there's some nuts in there, acorns. I'm surprised that the uh, magneto wire hasn't been chewed to hell because uh, rats love to chew things, you know. Um, it's too small for squirrels to get in here, so this is definitely tiny little rats. So to prevent hantavirus, which is... Um, a virus from rat feces that you know go into your lungs and stuff you could that's you know a, a bad disease that you definitely don't want to get so when you get compressed air and blow this all out try not to breathe look away or something when you take a breath walk away like walk five feet backwards and then exhale and breathe fresh air with your head turned away from this stuff so I'm gonna Turn on my air compressor and blow it out. So my air compressor is now on and I've got this attachment, you know. That's right, I was holding my breath that whole time. Walk away. <sighs> Hold my breath. This actually isn't too bad because it's um, uh, wet grass. If it was dry grass, it'd be tougher. See how you have to get those fins clean? I'm just gonna finish doing this. Look at that. Look at that. Fins. All nice and clear. That's the proper way to do it. It's excellent. You know, I actually have a better guard for this. I have a better muffler for this. I have a better valve cover for that. That's not rusted. However, I don't have a good recoil starter. So if it's going to look rusted anyway, maybe I'll just put it on the way it is, you know. So I'm just going to reverse engineer all that stuff and put everything back on. And that's how you extract a rat's nest. It's a little tricky how you have to get the cowling set right into these areas there. It's like a puzzle. There too. You're going to make sure all the holes match up before you start tightening them. There you go. Make sure this is underneath. You know it's underneath because there's a, you can tell that this was on top of that. Make sure you put the oil dipstick back on here, with the holes matching. Get that first before you put the tank over it. I'm going to put the bolts back on. Look at these split. If you have an impact uh, driver, makes it so much easier.
There we go. There you go. That's it. Ten minutes. Now this thing, you have peace of mind that this is not going to overheat uh, when you use it, you know? Because everything underneath that cowling is clean and clear. Fins are clear. No more rat's nest. You'll find rat's nests under uh, engine cowlings of riding mowers, lawn tractors, garden tractors, yard tractors. Anything with an engine about that size, even regular lawn mowers. If you leave your stuff outside, you're going to expect that. Okay, uh, I'm not saying that if you leave it inside, you're not going to have rats either, but, uh, you know, honestly, you know, people need to treat their equipment a little bit better because this thing is obviously was left outside. You know, the rain and the elements and stuff and metal, it just doesn't mix well. It's going to rust, and when it rusts, nothing really runs right when it rusts, you know? So, um, I keep most of my stuff in my garage, and I have a shed in the back too because uh, I'm very weary about the rust and um, taking care of your stuff. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe. And also, I'm close to a thousand subscribers. I've got a group of regulars that you know I consider my friends now, and uh, they've been very supportive, and I really appreciate it. So again, thanks guys for uh, following me and commenting. And uh, listen, as you guys know, I, I respond to every comment pretty much, you know, and um, I enjoy the, the correspondence. I enjoy interacting with uh, my new friends and uh, I, I've learned a lot from some of you guys, you know, so I appreciate it. Uh, continue to follow, please, and uh, check out my videos and uh, if you guys have any feedback on how I can make my videos better or more interesting, um, please uh, comment and uh, like because... Um, and, I, and also, if you guys could help me out and uh, share some of my videos on your social media and stuff, if you find it interesting or somebody else may think it's interesting that you know, um, please share it on your Facebook or something like that, you know, the links and all. And uh, I could really use another 100 or so subscribers uh, because then YouTube will start maybe monetizing some of my, some of my videos and I'll <laughs> pick up 10 or 12 bucks here and there every month, you know, <laughs> hey, 10 or 12 bucks, you guys know me, man, 10 or 12 bucks, what is that, 10 or 12 bucks sometimes could be a couple of lawnmowers, you know, and a couple more lawnmowers means what, that's right, two more videos, all contributed from you guys, I appreciate it, anyway, uh, this is how you uh, extract a rat's nest from your uh, small engine machine, see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers! Hey, you know, guys, I'm really close to a thousand...